After an encouraging one-all draw with Bulgaria on Friday, Canada's men's national team is back in action on Tuesday when they take on Moldova. And Moldova is a team riding some confidence right now, having just come off a 4-0 win of Saudi Arabia in a friendly just days ago in Spain. Canada will be without defender David Edgar, who left camp after Friday's game to help in the final preparations of his wedding. But other than that, however, everyone on the roster has come through the Bulgaria game in good condition. Head coach Benito Floro has spent a great deal of time studying what Tuesday's opponents have to offer and thinks his team has what it takes to exploit Moldova. We have uh, analyzed three games and uh, several video clips about Moldova. And we think it's a, a team who play well in attack. Uh, but in defense, uh, some things uh, are not good, no? But uh, we need to focus on attack well and defense very well. After this game, Canada won't see action again until September when they host Jamaica at BMO Field in Toronto. And with Tuesday's game at 5.30 p.m. local time, 11.30 a.m. Eastern and 8.30 a.m. Pacific, not on television for Canadians back home to see, midfielder Julian de Guzman knows Canadian fans may not be able to see the progress being made on the field just yet, but a victory is the only surefire way to prove the tangible steps that are being taken. Just being able to just to, to, to catch on on, on, what he, on what he wants. So um, the way the team has been performing, I mean, in practices and then going into the Bulgaria game, you could see the, um, how we've responded. And just being able to get now that final t touch or that finishing touch, if you want to say, um, is, is a win would, is, is the way to go about it. And to give, obviously, some type of comfort and, and positive energy going into September's friendly at home would, uh, would be a great setup for us. After what was a very promising display against Bulgaria on Friday, Canada knows they need that level of consistency against Moldova on Tuesday if they want to pick up that win this team sorely needs. Unfortunately, once again, there will be no Canadian television broadcast of the game, so follow along live on our Twitter pages in English and in French. I will also provide post-game interviews and highlights on Canada Soccer TV. But that's it from our second-to-last day here in Austria. I'm Gavin Day, this is Canada Soccer TV, and I will talk to you soon.